We are the Huans. Um, my name is Peter. My name is Sarah. My name is Josh. And my name is Emma Grace. Peter and I are, were born in Vietnam. Uh, Josh was born in Philadelphia, but Emma was born in Canada while yes. we were while Peter and I were seminary students. I work as a pharmacist, um, and right now we are preparing for to go to Cambodia. I am a homeschooler. I homeschool Emma, who's in fourth grade. And our family's favorite pastime is traveling. If we could, we would do it all year round. Peter, my husband, was born a couple weeks before the fall of Saigon, April 1975. We are Vietnamese, we are boat people, so we had to uh, escape from Vietnam, being a communist country and all. By God's grace, he guided us to the right places and being in a refugee camp, and later on we were sponsored over to U.S. and myself to Canada with my family. Abana 1996. Abana is a global mission conference. My eyes were open to God's work in the world. And there at Abana 1996, God put in my heart and challenged my heart to put my feet wet in, into missions, um, not only by faith, but also by action. An opportunity arose in, in 2001 where there was a short-term mission trip also to Cambodia, and I went. And there in Cambodia, God began his work in me for preparation for long-term mission. And fast forward to where we, we are today, in, in those preparation years, uh, God has been uh, preparing us to, to visit Cambodia as a whole family, where we not only want to be there, but we want to see how our children will fit in, the environment, the culture, the, the climate, but also are they, are they themselves individually open to this, to work together as a family? And serving in the future in Cambodia. So the year 2000 was when I went with a small team uh, for a short-term mission trip to Cambodia. That was when mission, or at least short-term mission, was a very possible future for me. God showed me the, the world outside of Canada and United States, mm -hmm. and He just showed that there are people that need to hear the gospel, that really needs people to be living among them to do that. One of the verses that really stuck and convicted me was uh, Romans, in Romans 10 verses 14 to 15. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How are they to believe in him who they have not never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? God just gripped my heart with that. And as we shared as a family, even with our children, we do ha have a lot of blessing here. But God called us more than that, not just to keep our blessing, but to share our blessing with others. And though we can't and may not be able to change their circumstances, we can bring that hope of the gospel. When we arrive in Cambodia, we are required to learn the national language, which is Khmer. And we hope to immerse ourselves in the language and also cultural acquisition. Once we pass the language, um, study and, and the cultural acquisition, then we'll be released to begin our work among the unreached Vietnamese people group in Cambodia. Primarily the focus is making disciples among, among that people group through very various ways, uh, sport ministry, literacy classes, even using uh, my healthcare profession as a pharmacist, uh, pharmacy experience use that as a bridge into their homes. But my mom, um, and, and I'm sure many other parent, Vietnamese parents were like, we, we did this for you, better future. Why are you going backward? Why are you going back to a place that is dark? We are truly blessed by what our parents did. But that blessing is only short-lived. There's an eternal blessing from God that we cannot hold back to us living here in the U.S. Why, why not? Why, not only why not, but so beautiful is that to see future brother and sister, their families even, who come to the Lord and one day, one day, we all will sit, sit around His great table and see each other because of what God has done for us and through us for, for Him.